Hey, it's your girl, the Promo Goddess. You are tuned into another interview with myself, and I have two special guests with me, Ans and Tyrus. Stay tuned in for this interview, only on Push Media. Thank you guys for having to sit down with me. Um, we've known each other for a while. This is yes. like the first time <laughs> we've actually gotten to, you know, actually have a sit down and have a conversation. Yes. So I definitely appreciate you both for coming to sit down with me. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Absolutely. 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 So I'll start with you. So how did you get started in the film? Okay. Um, long story short, <laughs> um, I went to Ball State mm -hmm. and um, I knew I liked video and I was interested in all of that mm -hmm. but I wasn't into the film side yet mm -hmm. when I went to Ball State they introduced me to film because most of our projects we had to do like short narrative things of that nature mm -hmm. so I started there and when I left I started working at the city county building mm -hmm. and it was it was a job and it was a good job good benefits all that great stuff but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. So I went to grad school, mm -hmm. um, graduated from Full Sail University for, with my master's. And thank you. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> um, and that process just like really made it real for me. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you like to do this, but these people like to do this too, and now they're making millions doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. It could be your reality, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So that gave me the inspiration to like, oh yeah, let's let's go. Right, right. <laughs> so um, with Grade A Productions, um, what's your vision behind it? Like, what where, where do you see yourself as far as like film wise? Like, where do you want to take it? Oh, to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely want to be uh, have a streaming site. You know, you mm -hmm. have Netflix, Hulu. You know, you have all nice. that. So I want to definitely have a streaming um, software and site that people can go to and mm -hmm. see films. Black films <laughs> <Tell it. laughs> um and also when you say production you know you gotta look at the music side yes. too because so you got film production you got music production mm -hmm. so right now i'm definitely growing the film side but there will be a music side added as well nice mm -hmm. okay so how did you get started tyrus uh <laughs> it's actually funny how i got started um back in high school my mm -hmm. junior year i got um forced into being in theater arts mm -hmm. and um I used to love playing basketball, football, baseball, mm -hmm. and after my godmom had died, it was just like I had to find something else to channel my energy into, because mm -hmm. um, she was one of my biggest supporters, so right. after that, it was just like I lost the passion for basketball, football, and baseball, and mm -hmm. uh, picked up acting after that, that class, and it was just like, on from there. Okay. And so, so yeah. you actually play on both ends of the camera, so you do acting and mm -hmm. you do you a little bit behind the camera as well, so how do you balance the two? Um, it's it's not too hard, mm -hmm. but uh, I love I love the acting part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that, uh, getting together with Ani, it was just like you know she was like, you know you got to be more versatile. Mm -hmm. You know you got to be able to be in front and in back of the camera. And so right. uh, nice. with doing that, it was just like you know growing the love for it for sure. And um, that was one of the biggest things, just growing that love for mm -hmm. it, and that passion for it, and it's making me love acting even more. Nice. So how did you get, how did you meet? Like, cause y'all's energy just like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it matches so well. So how did y'all cross paths? Me and Tyrus? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tyrus and I. Um, we went to church together. Okay. Yeah. And we were bad little heathens on the, <laughs> you know, on the parking line. I'm like, what's your name? <laughs> He told me his name, oh, you know, from man. there, it just, you know, our church family, especially growing up, it was definitely mm -hmm. a community, mm -hmm. right? No doubt about it. So you guys so. know when you were young. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we grown from there. He used my address to go to high school. <laughs> <laughs> and all that good stuff. So, you know, yes, uh -huh. it's definitely like a, a family, you know, sure. my brother. Right. All yeah. day, so. so when did you guys know um, that film was no longer a hobby? You wanted to make it into a career? Good question. You want me to go? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when I really found out that it was a passion, uh, after George Floyd uh, mm -hmm. and Breonna Taylor was killed, mm -hmm. I had wrote My Black Was a Crime, and um, shortly after that, Ani was, you know, going going into film, and I was just like, mm -hmm. "Hey, I got a film, you know, I just wrote, 
let's do it. And from right. there, it was just like, you know, taking off. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah, uh, it was it was definitely something that wasn't hard, mm -hmm. and it came easy. Mm -hmm. It came very easy for us both. Yeah. Um, I would say for me, COVID nineteen. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> I take a breath on that. Um, it was yeah. It was COVID nineteen. Um, I I already knew that I wanted to go to school. I wanted to go to grad school and mm -hmm. make it for film. But when COVID nineteen happened and I was in my house way more than I've ever because I'm an extrovert. I'm a Gemini. Right. I'm like all the things that mean movement. Right. So you know, having to just be in one spot like really had me thinking like. Uh -huh. What you want to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And whatever it is you want to do, let's start doing it. You have to pivot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let's start doing that. Like, like, let's start making this happen because if COVID-19 was the end of the world, mm -hmm. would I've been satisfied with how I've been living? Right. Would I be satisfied with being at the city county building? Mm -hmm. And I knew that the answer was no. Right. You know, mm -hmm. so that's when I was like, you know what? We're going to really do this. We're going to take it to the next level. Okay. So speaking of My Black Was a Crime, um, something that you wrote, was that your first film? Uh, it's not the first film that I wrote. Okay. It's, uh, it was actually the second. Second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It was the second. <laughs> okay. So for it being your second film, like, how do you feel about the outcome of it? Um, to For it to be our first film that we actually filmed, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like it it was a start mm -hmm. you know uh it wasn't the best but it wasn't the worst it was Absolutely. a stepping stone right. and so uh with that it was just like after we filmed it it was just like okay let's let's get mm -hmm. better let's keep going let me interject <laughs> <laughs> because he wants to give the the perfect answer politically correct <laughs> After he sees the film, he started crying. Okay. <laughs> I did. I did. I really did. I really did. It was an emotional moment. Right, right. So, like, yeah. tell us about that. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to have you so, hold on to that. Uh, I'm going to have you hold on to that. So, we're going to look at a real quick clip of My Black Was a Crime. Stay tuned. Right now. Another life taken. Another black man shot down. All because... They thought I was a suspect because my phone was mistaken as a gun and my black skin was a threat. Why? Please tell me why my black was a crime. Living in a world so cold, trying to hide from father time. He said, no, no, looked in the sky and asked him why. And I lost hope Now all that's left is distant memories Memories I'm at the end of the rope I just slipped off of the ledge Tim going down in my body Living but already dead Yo, Turn around and put your hands behind so your back cold. now okay. Take your back off so and turn around Stay on the ground, no okay. sudden movement Okay, okay, so okay. Just please don't shoot <laughs> My Black Was a Crime was a very, very powerful production between the both of you. For sure. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and shout out to the both of you and the entire crew. You know, they check it out. Thank so um, what was going through your head with you being the main character, especially in that moment when, you know, the cop had her gun pointed at you? What was going through your head? Um, it was mostly this could be me, mm -hmm. you know, and just bringing out that that character, it was very emotional, mm -hmm. one, because of the simple fact that I'm a black man living in America. Mm -hmm. um, just the persona of my, just my everyday life. Right. Just how I carry myself. It could be taken as, oh, you're a criminal or mm -hmm. just just because of the color of my skin. Right. And uh, that's, that part right there is just one mm -hmm. of the biggest things. It's just like, okay, I need to tell this story, mm -hmm. you know, and I need to let it be known that we don't hate black, we don't hate cops. We don't hate, right. you know, the way that you guys, the profession that you want to go into, we don't hate right. it, but it just needs to be changed. Absolutely. You know? So, cause that's, that's a lot mentally and emotionally mm -hmm. to be in that position, even if it's just acting. How did you mentally prepare yourself? Um, I took, a, it took a long time to, you know, with the process of just getting through it. So I think uh, the writing process, the mm -hmm. uh, back, behind the stage, mm -hmm. um, behind the scenes, I'm sorry. Uh, just everything preparing for it uh, was my emotional uh, connection with it. It was just like, mm -hmm. okay, I, I'm cool now. Right. You know, when we did get to filming it, it was just like, 
okay, I can do it and I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of it being like, oh man, this is hard. You know, I, right. you got to take a break. You know, mm -hmm. you know, nothing like that. So, okay. uh, just the preparation behind it kind of helped out with that. That's good though. I'm pretty sure that helped out For a sure. lot yeah. with the production. Mm -hmm. Of course, everybody is telling this. You know, the story with you know the current climate of the country. You know, Black Lives Matter. What did you guys want to do differently with this production in telling your own perception of the story? Um, I believe with the writing process because after he read wrote it, mm -hmm. I you know looked over it and I I did feel a connection with it because mm -hmm. it really like you said a lot of people do it and it make it puts you in the mindset that it could be you, mm -hmm. but the fact that. This is a high school student. The 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 story behind it, I mm -hmm. feel like, brought this story made it differently. Mm -hmm. So he's high, a basketball star, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, connection with his friends, right. his family. He's a family mm -hmm. man, and then for no reason, no apparent reason, mm -hmm. you know. So it's it's been told before, but it definitely needed to be told again, especially in when we released it. It was during it was last year in mm -hmm. 2020 when. All that stuff was going right. on, as he mentioned George Floyd and mm -hmm. all that. So it was it was the perfect time to release something like that. So as filmmakers, do you feel obligated to tell these kind of stories? Like, do you feel like it's a, a personal obligation? Oh, definitely. And why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll start. Um, I definitely think it's you know worth writing about, mm -hmm. especially COVID nineteen in this mm -hmm. era because. People years from now, you know, kids who aren't even born yet, they mm -hmm. may watch this and say, oh, so this was going on in 2020. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like it is our obligation to tell these things and mm -hmm. to share these stories because it's history. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, to <laughs> piggyback off what she said, I mean, I agree. Um, like she said, the COVID-19, it's different stories that, that needs to be told right. and that can be told, mm -hmm. you know, through film. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's just a good thing to be in film because you can tell so many different stories and have so many different topics to mm -hmm. talk about. So just switch gears. Um, you recently released Black's Crack. Hey. 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I've seen all the, you know, social media and the recaps. Like, how was yeah. that feeling, like, releasing that film? Especially, it was, did you guys release it in an actual theater this time? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. how was that feeling? Crazy. Definitely crazy. <laughs> crazy. I'll let you start. I'll let you start. <laughs> uh, it was leading up to it, uh, even going after we filmed it, mm -hmm. leading up to it, it was just like, okay, it's coming, it's coming, mm -hmm. it's coming. Mm -hmm. And then when it finally got here, it was just like, dang, it's here. Mm -hmm. and right. it, was just, it was like a, a, a feeling of relief, mm -hmm. you know, and just to see something that you did that's on the big screen, mm -hmm. even if it wasn't in an actual movie theater, we did a premiere for it. So mm -hmm. it was just like, that was our movie theater for tonight. Right, right, right. So we had it in a movie theater, and, and mm -hmm. that's a big accomplishment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What about you? Uh, for me, it was it was crazy. It was surreal. Mm -hmm. Like, for sure. it was like I had all the bricks and all the pieces, all the right puzzle pieces, you know, to put together. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, I was like, dang, that's a house. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang, right. I just thought I was mm -hmm. just building it, and we done made a whole thing. Yes. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it, it was surreal. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was a it great was. time, a great experience. So the film is about, you know, a black family coming home for the holidays. Mm -hmm. um, when you were writing and putting those pieces together, what were some of the components that you wanted to add? Like, did you want to make it a black family? Did you want to, you know, make it family oriented? Like, what are the pieces that you guys like plucked out and actually wanted to make part of it? Um, I would say, we wanted to make it as realistic as possible. Mm -hmm. So it was the holiday season mm -hmm. when we started to write it. It mm -hmm. was like at the end of November. Yeah. End of end November. November. Mm -hmm. We released uh, My Black Was a Crime uh, November 11th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of November, we started writing uh, Black's Crack. So <laughs> like, <laughs> we were not playing. Right, right. <laughs> um, so that, it was getting towards the holiday season, you know, just mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. So it was like, uh, let's do a, a family thing, you know, okay. film. Mm -hmm. Did I know it was going to be as many characters and as many people? as it was. Oh, like that was a that was no. heavy cast. A heavy cast yeah. in COVID. Yeah. And that was stressful. <laughs> that was the most stressful. It was uh, like, okay, everybody, please do not go outside. Everybody, right. please <laughs> wear your mask. Everybody, please quarantine. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then it was 11 cast and 11 crew. So mm. I'm having to tell 22 people, please, right. everybody. Like, but it was good. How was it working with the cast? 
I'll let I'll let both of y'all touch on that because it was it was a heavy <laughs> cast. So, how did you guys like, especially with COVID? Like, how did you guys you know interact with each other, especially during you know such a health concerning time frame? Did you guys make time for each other, even out you know off the camera? Like, how did how did that work? We uh, we had a pretty system. <laughs> you know, you, we had to make it like that, uh -huh. and um, you know, I have my sister who helped. She was one of the directors. Her name's Shannon Janice, mm -hmm. and then my other guy sister, she was in the film as, as Tony, mm -hmm. and her name is Haley Brown, and they don't play. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. They, and, and that's half the reason why they're there, <laughs> because they don't play. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they had their guidelines, you know, before rehearsals, they would tell everyone what, would, you know, what we expected, mm -hmm. uh, what we expected the day of, mm -hmm. you know, everything was, was straightforward, mm -hmm. and, you know, I had... Have my people. <laughs> have my, you know, you had your team yeah, with you. What, you know, the bodyguard. What they call them? Your, your heat, your, your heat. <laughs> have my hitters, you know. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> what are some of your favorite moments from production? It could be with you know with each other, as far as like the writing process. It can be you know with the castmates. But what are some of your favorite moments? I would say one of my favorite moments it would be probably just. The, the whole filming day. Mm -hmm. Everybody gelled well together. Mm -hmm. We had a very good time. Um, we was all there to work. Mm -hmm. And er, like I said, everybody gelled well together. Mm -hmm. You would have thought we worked together for years, mm -hmm. but that was most everybody's first time working together. And it was a great feeling. Yeah. I, I have to say the same. Um, Copycat. I, know, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to think of something else. <laughs> I was, but the day of made it so real, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It was like, okay, yeah, we prepared all this time, but if the cameraman doesn't show up, we can't shoot. Mm -hmm. If this actress does gets COVID, we can't shoot. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it was like when we all got there the day of and got it shot, what was it, 10, 13, no, 10 hours? I think hours? it's 10, 11 hours. Yeah, 10, 11 yeah. hours shoot, right, it's all day. See, I filmed the entire thing in one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because yeah. of COVID. I was scared. Uh, yeah, 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 I was yeah, so yeah. scared. I'm like, it, it does make sense to, you know, and you should. Break it up. Mm -hmm. Break it up. <laughs> no, 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 give me your hand. She's a film director. Like she said. She all said. In one. <laughs> but I was so nervous about not being able to have the people, mm -hmm. you know, have them one day and then the next day somebody gets sick or something. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get it all in one day. Right. And that we have to um, worry about like one day somebody, okay, next day they're sick. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the biggest thing. So, yeah, we did it all in one day. With the film, can we expect a part two? <laughs> I don't like that answer. Every time. Every time. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so man. since we're here, okay, we'll give you a little exclusive. Only for you, child. Only, only, only for you. Because you know, you know. everyone asks this question uh -huh. all the time, mm -hmm. and sometimes we say, you know, yeah, maybe. And mm -hmm. other times we say, oh, you know, <laughs> like, <"Ew." Yeah. laughs> but um, as far as our first, our first film, What The, is mm -hmm. on YouTube. Check that out. Definitely two check. minutes, two minutes of your time. Check it out. <laughs> Just two. Um, but after that one, everyone was asking the same things. Mm -hmm. Like, was, was that it? Right. That, like, that was the biggest question that we had. Mm -hmm. So I guess you, you know, you're probably starting to realize now, like most of our films uh, have, we leave you with the what, what's next. Mm -hmm. um, and I really wanted to do that with these films because use your imagination. Right. Think. <laughs> Explore. Use that degree. Use that degree. <laughs> you make a part two. You know what I'm saying? You, if, if I inspire you to make a part two or something mm -hmm. in your own way, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, do do something with well, it. Bring like it that. to us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Bring it to us. Bring it to us. <laughs> bring it to us. <laughs> I'll definitely, you know, sponsor some stuff or something. If somebody was to do that, I would love that. Do you guys currently have any projects that you're working on, either together or individually? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Definitely. Okay. Um, when can we can we expect like a time frame? You know, give me a month. I take a year if I gotta take it. <laughs> it won't be done. Okay. Yeah, okay. Done. okay. Okay. They say yeah. within. You we, know, we're quick with twelve to twenty four months. What they're saying. <laughs> um, definitely summertime. Okay. So we'll drop mm -hmm. a film. It's already done. Okay. So. Shout out to yeah. Yeah. We, so we, we do this. Okay. <laughs> we do. We does this. They say call them if you need them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we do have something coming up. Um, it's entitled Blood, mm -hmm. and it was my thesis film for school. Mm -hmm. So you know, we got together, of course, <laughs> and 
the dynamic duo. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we made it happen, you know. For so sure. um, I think when we shot that, it's way shorter than Black's Crack, mm -hmm. but we spent the same amount of time on it. We spent mm -hmm. a whole ten hours mm. on a what five page script. Yeah. But it was that we needed it to be that detailed mm -hmm. and, and that you know it was it was my thesis. So mm -hmm. we, you mm -hmm. know, and I directed it. It was my first time directing anything because I'm usually either behind the camera or in front. So mm -hmm. it's my first time directing, and and I, I wanted it right. So it's mm -hmm. it's a powerful story. For sure. I'll say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a we'll story. leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> so summer, make sure y'all check it out. Yes. Where can people follow you? Both of you. Yeah. Um, well, you can follow the company. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> as a whole, <laughs> go to our YouTube channel first. Um, yep. Two four six eight um, spelled out. Um, you'll oh find us God. there. Yeah, all one word. Whole you'll, word. Whole two, word. Four six eight. Yeah. You know, people mm -hmm. type in digits. <laughs> <laughs> Need you to spell it out. <laughs> um, yes, and it's all one word. And that inspiration came from mm -hmm. um, me wanting to do short films. Yes. So all in a span of two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, and eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Although Black's Crack is longer. Mm -hmm. Sue me. Uh, <laughs> majority of the films will be, you know, mm -hmm. short because I have a short attention span. The and so it's, it's it's for all the people out there with mm. the short attention we span. We appreciate you. <laughs> we do. <laughs> that still want quality yes. things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why it's mm -hmm. that. So catch us there, subscribe, like, catch all of our short films there. Um, and then on Instagram, um, grade A P R O D underscore. Let me say it again. Grade A. <laughs> P R O D underscore. That's us on Instagram. And then on Facebook, uh, we have a like page, Grade A Productions. And uh, like it, and you'll be able to stay up to date on everything that we're doing. And there's that. Um, my name, Ans. <laughs> you can find me on IG, Young Ans, Y U N G A U N Z Z Z underscore um <laughs> facebook ani sanders twitter i think it's young ons as well on there and i'm i'm very social very active so if you see me holla you know <laughs> i'm cool people so. yeah you can find me at tyrus burks it's actually longer than that on facebook <laughs> it's actually longer than that it's uh but yeah you can find me on there it'll be tyrus tashik ashan burks lord have mercy on facebook <laughs> Well, once again, one more time. One Tyrus, more time. Tyrus Tashik Ashan Burks White. Follow him on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have Twitter. But you can follow me on uh, IG. You. you can follow me on IG. <laughs> uh, my <laughs> my IG funny. is uh, T underscore Burks underscore 22. So again, T underscore Burks underscore 22. Or you can find me on IG. Don't look up his Facebook. You ain't gonna find yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead that. <laughs> Ani Sanders and I'm Tyrus Burks and we are Grade A Productions. We need you guys to go stream Black's Crack right now on our YouTube channel 2468. Thank you. <laughs>